there, it's Emma from Emma's Cards and Paper Crafts. Thank you for watching my last video with uh, showing off some of my kits. I thought I would actually make one of those for you today. Um, so this one is the Expressions of Kindness. So I just picked one at random off the top of my pile. Um, so I'm going to grab everything out. There we go. Make sure we've not got anything hidden behind the card. No. Right, so pop that to one side. Um, we're going to make one of each design today. So there's two different ones in this card kit. So we get one of each thing out. There we go. So we've got two card bases. I'm going to pop the envelopes to one side just right now. And then... Instead of using my mini stamping spot, I'm going to use my um, Blackberry Bliss off my shelf, um, just because I like to keep my stamping spots for travelling and things like that. I'm also going to open up my little baggie. We shouldn't call them baggies, but we had a whole conversation about this when we was on the retreat um, about calling things baggies. <laughs> um, so we've got the gems here. Pop that one to one side use that for handy things. I've got a stamp block, just going to pop it on my pile of stamp blocks because I've got plenty of stamp blocks. Um, we've got the stamp set here, so we're going to pop one of each of these out. So we've got, we've actually got five of each. Perhaps they were just nice and gave us some extra ones because we only need four because there's only four of each card. But still, so that's nice of them to give us uh, a little extra in there. Um, we're going to need one of these. These are quite intricate though, so let's carefully pop these out. Don't want to break anything getting it out. There we go. Okay, and then... One of these foil pieces. Again, these are quite intricate, but luckily they're not held on too, too well. So I think that's all of our pieces. And then we need to cut some pieces of ribbon. Um, just try and get the hook out. Right, why did I put my pokey tool? I had it right in front of me, just let me get there. Um, I'm trying to hook out the edge of my ribbon. So I tend to leave the plastic wrap on because it keeps your rib ribbon wound up nicely. So I just hook the end of it and pull it out like so, like that. See, it doesn't come undone then. So that's how I like to leave my ribbon. And then I have them hung off of my uh, um, camera arm with my light on it. So first card is the one with the most stamping so we're going to put most of our bits to one side so we need nails fingers not working i'm going to leave all of those bits pop them over to one side we've got this piece here so we're going to need to stamp our patterned bit oh, i need to find my blackberry bliss first so i've got all my stamps in their colour families right in front of me but then I have my avalanche that likes to fall balanced on top of them so I think I've got everything sorted right there's my big blackberry bliss um let's get my block black out back out my block back out because we're gonna use it um I've got lots and lots of junk on my desk um, I did try and have a quick tidy up before filming a few videos today, but that didn't quite go to plan. So first we're going to be stamping our background patterny bit. So we're going to take that one off and just whack that on our stamp block. Um, don't think it really matters which way you stamp it, but it does say to stamp it twice, so once and then once above just so you get it come out both sides out of your thing so we're going to stamp perhaps we might stamp one one way and one the other way 
So actually let's fold our card in half so we can see perfectly where we're actually stamping because the uh, image wraps all the way around. Oh, unfortunately it's got a printing error in there, we can line that one though. So image wraps all the way around the card. So just so that I know where we're stamping, I'm going to fold it in half. So the stamp just above the gold foiling it says. So one like that. And I've just got to put my hand in the ink pad. So typical of me. And then I've flipped my thing round. And you do one slightly overlapping and just above. So you get nice little squares in the middle. That's cute. And then next up we need to stamp our sentiment on here. So the leafy bit goes at the top and the flowery bit goes at the bottom. And we are going to stamp uh, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. That's good. It's my daughter's birthday in a couple of days. So of how many uh, birthday cards we go through in this house. This is going to come in rather handy. You don't have to hunt for one or anything. So, Madeline, here's your birthday card. <laughs> um, and we're just going to stamp that on there. There you go. Perfect. And so I'm going to put both my blocks out the way so I don't get ink on anything now. So now we're going to. Oh no, we've still got more stamping to do. Let's get a third block out. Um, need our funny little fuzzy bit. And then we're going to stamp our fuzzies. So this is why it's so much easier to have several stamp blocks. So our fuzzies. Yeah, our fuzzies go this way just like that. And then just like that. And then fuzzies over here. And then with that same bit of ink, I'm just going to put some fuzzies on here as well. There we go. So that block out the way as well. I think that is now all of our stamping. So let's put the ink away before I get ink anywhere else, at least for now, anyway. Um, and get rid of this ink on my hand just so I don't wipe it all over my card right so next up we need to cut a piece of ribbon approximately 15 centimeters long and if you don't have a ruler here we go your instructions have a built-in ruler which is great so let's get our ruler out and then it says either 6.25 inches that sounds easier to me so put that on there and there, so approximately here I need to snip, and let me guess, I've put my scissors away, I've just been wrapping up presents, shush, <laughs> don't tell anybody, and my scissors have disappeared, I'm sure I had them just a minute ago, one second, I'm just going to pause you and I shall be back, yep the scissors were hidden in amongst the presents and all of the wrapping paper, so there we go, there's our six inch or just over six inch piece of ribbon cut and then right so so we've stamped this we've stamped our fuzzies we've stamped our sentiment we didn't stamp our envelope we'll do that at the end so now we're going to put everything together so the ribbon needs to go on the back of our sentiment under our dimensionals so sentiment ribbon i'm just gonna fold it sort of like so we're gonna leave a little gap here just so that we've got space for our sent uh, for our dimensional to hold it down so oh that ribbon did not work did it ladies with nails how do you craft because I seem to be epically failing at this. Then we're going to need one just about there holding the ribbon on two. And then one just up here to hold the ribbon on two. So there we go. 
and then no, we don't need any of our glue dots for this one so we're going to we're going to put our back straight in the bin today okay i know it's never going to happen again but i've just emptied my bin so my bin is empty and i'm just going to cut that fuzzy bit of ribbon off the end because i don't like how it looks in fact i'm going to cut them both at an angle like that i'm gonna pop that let's make sure it's straight shall we at least by the stamping it looks straight anyway so i think my stamping was very straight and then it says we need two big and three little of our gems so some of these gems have slid around the sheet a little bit so we're going to put a little one here as well as a big one right next to it let's take the ones that have all gone slidey slidey there we go and then a big one down here in this little gap here Okay, and another little one in the middle. Come on, come on. So we get a little one there, and then another little one just way up the top. So we get full sparkles on this one. Get over there. There we go. So that's card number one love how that looks now we're going to go on to card number two so here we go i'm just going to move all my rubbish into the bin it starts with me to go on let's wipe off that bit of ink there so we don't end up on the card and then this one we don't need to hold this one because we can see where the edge of this is clearly and then we're just going to flip over our instructions so we need to stamp our fuzzies again and then we need to stamp just a note this time. So, yet another stamp block. So, let's do fuzzies first. And then just a note needs to go on there. And we're actually going to stamp our um, envelope sentiments as well. So, we need we're actually using every single stamp in this kit. Um, I've had some kits where they've come with a couple of extra sentiments that you didn't use or, or just alternatives and uh, this one you actually use all of them so my, my whole sheet is bare so I need to order some more empty um, stamp cases again because when I've finished a kit I like to keep the stamp set in a stamp box with the original instructions for the project just as sort of reference and inspiration um so yeah so i get the empty boxes for that to put them in with the stamp set and the instructions so right fuzzies is where we was at first where did i put my ink pad i'm going nuts here right right about here so there we go so Stamp our fuzzies. It's just what they're going to be known from now on, okay? They're just called fuzzies. And I've just gone and put my thumb in it again. There we go. More fuzzies. Right. Fuzzy stamp out the way. Now we want our... Just a note stamp do our sentiment try and get that nice and central there we go now we'll stack that one out the way and then last up we're going to stamp our two envelopes so we're going to get one of each design just move that out the way oh now we've got Thank you. Uh, it's dry enough. So, 
just going to carefully put those there. It's the back of the envelope, so anyway, it's, it's fine. It'll be fine, it's all good. And then we're going to put... Stamp that one just there. Pop that one off to the side. And then we're going to stamp... This one here. So that was that one from our other project. So that's all of our stamping done completely now. Pretty sure anyway. So let's put this ink away before I make any more mess. So I should check all this ink. Oh, look, I'm covered in it everywhere. Right. So next step, right, we've done the stamping. So next up we're going to put a sticky dot on the back of our foiled piece foiled pieces here turn that over so it shows you very carefully where to put it or the best places to put it this piece here seems to be a little bit wider as well so I might put mine slightly further up um, just on its widest point actually if you look at it carefully though I can't even pick it up now you do kind of have a circular shape here or here so either way it's easy enough you've probably got enough um, sticky dots to put two on um, so I might just do that. So one there, one there, just to hold them in place, make sure they're firmly stuck down. And then let's turn the instructions over again. Oh, we need to put sticky dots on the back of this one too. So we're going to put one in each of the big places, so here, here and here. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got rather a sore throat recently. We've had um, a lot going on at work. Let's just say, um, things happened. Cars were parked inside buildings when they shouldn't have been. Obviously. Um, but literally I've spoken so much in the last three days to the people that are staying in the hotel apologising for all of the mess and all the disruption that literally my throat is so sore just from talking so that one goes there I'm going to carefully peel oh look I've done it again started putting them over here again there we go they all stuck to my finger instead of putting them straight in the bin Oh, and they're still stuck to my finger, I can feel it. <laughs> See? There we go. And then this one goes on top, slightly to the left. We're going to need to cut another piece of ribbon. We're just going to guesstimate this time. So it's roughly the same size piece as before. And then, again, we're going to fold it again and... Oh, got other ribbons from other projects in front of me as an old ribbon from a uh, project that I got out to uh, think about casing but then I didn't in the end I decided to go with something completely different um, so there we go we're also gonna so we're gonna put our dimensionals again to hold our ribbon on Oh, it's not going to work because it's way off the side of our thingy me. There we go, like that. Not like that. Just make sure we can, you know, we can just about kind of see that. Let's trim up those edges here. It says to put three dimensionals on, but yeah, let's put one more in the middle. There we go. Just got, it's got an extra hold on it all. Look, dimensionals going straight in the bin. So then I've put my uh, ribbon around the wrong way. Let's see if I can carefully peel it off. Because otherwise I'm going to be covering up my flowers. So we want the ribbon. This way round, like that. Oh, I've got a bit 
Oblivion College, that never mind. So we're going to pop this right about there. And now we just need to get our sparkles on. Oh, 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 and I'm pinging them everywhere because they're all loose. Where did the other one go there? There we go. Well, we've got two of our small ones. Like, but I've got them stuck to the wrong hands now. There we go. Got some tweezers. See if I can very carefully do this left handed. Oh no, I've got some gas left. Right, so we're going to put a little one up here. You can very well tell I am not left handed. Another little one. Just here. Oh, that's why I've messed it up because I've put my sentiment way down low. It's supposed to be up higher. Carefully peel off, do you reckon? Nope. Nope. So, we're going rogue on this one. And now we're going to go big one down here. And big one down here. And then one last little one over here. Like that. There we go. So, there's where I just slightly varied it. So, to put it above the flower, and I put it below the flower. So, instead of putting this gem up here, I should put it down here just to fill the gap a little bit. So, there we go. That is our project. Let's just move all my bits and bobs out of the way so I can bring everything back in to show you. Instructions out of the way. So, we've got this envelope, this envelope. So that card goes with, no, that card goes with this envelope. According to the instructions anyway, but you can go with the flow. And then this one goes with this one. So I think that's uh, lovely designs there. And I might just make up the rest of these and uh, get them, uh, get the uh, stamps and stuff packed away and things. And yeah, so I've loved making these. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this kit. Um, do remember the kit sale is on until the 31st of October. So it's up to 30% off kits currently. Um, so do head on over and check them out. There is a lot of kits to choose from. Currently we're actually getting two new kits a month, I think it is, or two new kits every other month. Something like that at the moment. Um, so they bring us lots and lots of kits recently, which is lovely because kits are just perfect to take everywhere. Um, so thank you for watching. Hope you will come back again next time and catch me with another video. Um, I think it will be uh, one of my own projects next because I've done quite a few uh, random ex obscure videos lately. So we've had the um, swaps and stuff like that. Um, um, and then we've had this one and I've also got my video coming up soon of my goodies that I won in the raffle while I was on retreat so yeah there's lots of lots of pretty things and nice things to show you um so I hope to see you again in my next video bye bye